morning, ma'am. Good morning. So, can I have your resume? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, your name? Bhagya. Where are you from? Gundu. Tell me about yourself. I am a miss my pleasure to introduce myself. Thank you for this first one. My name is Bhagya. I am from Gundu. And I completed my graduation in 2022. And in the stream of a BC computers in the statistics. And in the Acharya Nagarjuna University, Gundu. And my family background is we are four members in the family, including me. And I have one sibling, and she has she has also completed her graduation. And my technical skills are Python, and my strength is self motivated, self confidence. And my short term goal is to get a job in reputed company, and my long term goal is. To get a good position in that company. Okay. My, what are your hobbies? My hobbies are singing and art. Okay. What type of art do you draw? Pencil art or painting? What kind of art do you like? Uh, Mehendi art. Mehendi. Okay. Uh, so, singing. What kind of songs did you like? Folk singing songs. Okay. Uh, so, fine. So, are you comfortable with which programming language? Ah, yeah. With the pro, which programming language? Python. Python. Okay. So, what is abstract class? Abstract class. A class contains uh, one or more uh, abstract methods. It is known as abstract class. Uh, it contains constant has a blueprint for uh, other classes. Uh, we can uh, we can't uh, create an object to the abstract uh, class uh, and it defines a formal API, a set okay. of... Mm. What is the full form of API? Okay. So, what is abstract method? A, without a method is without body is known as the abstract method. Okay. A method without body is nothing but uh. abstract method. So, differentiate between procedural programming and object oriented programming. Program is divided into functions in the procedural programming, and uh, the program is divided into object objects uh, in the object pro object oriented programming, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, no data security in the procedural programming, uh, data mm -hmm. security in the object uh, object oriented programming. Uh, that means oops, uh, and help uh, uh, and up to down approaches in a procedural programming mm -hmm. down to up approach approaches a uh, object oriented programming okay uh, what is a super class and what is a sub class super class is nothing but parent class uh, base class only class and uh, sub class is also nothing but uh, uh, child class sub class mm -hmm. derived class uh. These uh, classes are in the inheritance. Uh, the method of inheriting is um, uh, the properties from the parent class to child class is known as the inheriting. Okay. Uh, can you give me some real time examples for polymorphism and inheritance? Uh, and uh, inheritance and um, we are the humans. Uh, uh, we are the certain pro uh, property from the, uh, from the class of human. Such as uh, to ability to speak, drink, eat, mm -hmm. and etc. Okay. And poly polymorphism. Poly means uh, polymorphism. Word is a game from Greek word. Uh, that mm -hmm. means also that means is uh, many many forms. Uh, and the real time example is uh, me. Uh, I'm uh, I'm a student at the uh, but uh, at the class uh, and or uh, college uh, and I'm a daughter when at the home. And okay. I, I'm employed at the so that means you are saying single person can do multiple uh, tasks. Uh, okay. Uh, what are the types of variable sense variable sense oops? Three types of variables in oops. Uh, uh, those are local variable and instance variable and class variable. Okay. Class variables are nothing but starting variables. Uh, which variables are declared uh, inside of the method uh, is known as the local variable, same as inside declared inside of the function. Uh, and uh, which variables are declared outside of the method and inside of the class is known as a class method yes. or nothing but a starting method. Uh, and uh, instant variable, which variables are created for object uh, is known as instant.
understands very well. Okay. Uh, what is list comprehension in Python? List comprehension gives the shorter syntax, syntax mm -hmm. and uh, so actually why we need list comprehension concept actually we need to take values from the keyword by using input function yeah. then why we are using again list comprehension list comprehension no idea okay uh, so what is the time complexity of insert find and delete for a list actually we are using insert method in list okay uh, find method in list, delete method in list. What is the time complexity for that? Differentiate between reverse and reversed method. Reverse, um, actually reverse the uh, elements uh, in the sub -tiner, sub -tiner, uh, container, sorry, container and uh, actual, uh, does not actually reverse the uh, anything mm -hmm. uh, from the reverse. Uh, Reversed. Reversed, reversed means um, does not reverse the anything container. What is the difference between sort method and sorted method in Python? Sort method is used in a uh, list concept and a sorted method is um, sorted uh, sequence type. Uh, sequence type uh, and uh, it, um, it maintains the original list. And uh, yeah, sorted is uh, sorted maintain the original sequence uh, sequence types. Correct. Okay. What is the scope in Python? What are the different types of scopes are there? Uh, the scope of Python is a Python is a uh, flexible programming language. So the we can use the different types of uh, fields uh, in Python and uh, some like that. Um, software development, uh, uh, education, arts. So explain types of scopes. Scopes. Uh, Python is a flexible programming language. So uh, there are uh, Python is um, used in a different fields uh, like uh, software development, uh, business, uh, business and education also. There are four types of uh, local, global and uh, uh, Enclosing a building. These are together based are together based on the any basic mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Okay. Uh, what is pass in Python? What is the purpose of see sometimes while we are writing the class if you are not defining any methods, we are writing a pass. What is the use with pass? The pass statement is a uh, for so what is the slicing in Python? Slicing a subpart of your a string is known as a, a, a substring. Uh, substring is nothing but a sub, uh, string slice. Mm. Uh, slice notations are available in the string uh, sorry, in this string and the arrays also. Okay. So what is doc string in Python? A Python doc string is a, a String used to document a Python module and mm -hmm. a class or a method a method or function. Mm -hmm. And uh, rules of uh, doc strings are the uh, doc strings are must be written starting with a capital letter and ends with a big period. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first line of a doc string is uh, should be shorter description. If there is a number of lines, the second line will be the second line should be blank so write a python program okay to find out factorial of a given number but you have to use a recursion concept okay na? write down the program
ओके हैव योर सीट ओके सो योर टेक्निकल राउंड इज कंप्लीटेड ओके डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन टू आस्क मी नो ओके सो फॉर फर्दर इंफॉर्मेशन अवर हेच आर विल कॉन्टेक्ट यू